Wait. And of course, the most hated <laughs> YouTuber <laughs> of all time. Eat that prison food. <gasps> oh no, EDT44. Talk about four, this, five, four, to this day. And when <laughs> oh yeah, the cupcake is a PDF file, they just get referred oh, to yeah. as an EDP. YouTubers. All right, let's see how this is. Of the most hated YouTubers, some from this year and some from previous years. I'll start mm -hmm. from this year and we'll go back through previous. Ooh, years. Let's start with Master Ugwe. I think that's a good person. biggest downfall. Now, Master Ugwe would make it's, shorts where it's either him or um the man the mini show jokes. like. And at first, some people actually liked this guy. I mean, I never really liked this guy's eh. content at all. But then he decided to do the unthinkable <laughs> one day, where he decided to make a song saying the Austrian painter was his neighbor. You get the idea. Now, Master Ugawe was dropping this. It was basically his nigga, like, you know, like, young Ugawe. Like, I, 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 when I first heard, I'm like, ain't no way this, this man is actually said nigga. In a bunch <laughs> ain't no way. About him. I don't know why he thought like, posting that was a good idea, because eventually all his channels got terminated. And instantly when he tries to make it, like, channel, honestly, don't even blame him. Immediately like, shuts it down. And well, like, who, who thinks Saying nigga like, like freely for a song, like doesn't matter if you're trying, trying to sing a song. Like who thinks that's a good idea? Yeah, you're gonna get banned. I don't think there's any question about it. And now look where the people who were super edgy in 2016 are. I mean, they either changed their content, stopped posting altogether, or, or they also got, got banned. Terminated. It's YouTube. Like play. um, it's their rules. You have to abide by them. You can't just go around and say shit. Like what's that one nigga that got banned? That got banned? Like he he also he did like commentary videos. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I didn't do a little bit of research because I forgot the, the channel name, but Leafy is here. Like, he got banned because a lot of his, like, you know, 2016, 27 videos, like, yeah, they were funny, but he was sometimes saying a little bit of, like, questionable stuff, like, low-key. So, it's like, you know... Like, like, 2016, 2017, you know, they were just changing the rules, but, like, you know, there were still a lot of, like, questionable videos, but, like, now, it's not really questionable, because, like, YouTube would actually do something about it, but it's just, like, niggas still find interesting ways to get banned. Shit like that on YouTube. Not smart at all, and just very unfunny, in my opinion. Next, we have Lanky Box. This year, I've seen a lot of videos come out about- Oh, my God, I hate Lanky Box. Brain Rock Content Farm shorts. Like this. Like, like American- they were posting Digital like Circus. Videos like, Digital Circus- is interesting but like editor slaving away how the fuck do you guys upload so many videos, videos done in a day. on just digital circus Ro roblox and like how do you guys like the youth one day there's gotta be i don't know how they could just sit there and be completely sane while producing all this slop content i don't get it making content Same, like, like i don't understand how they do it low-key like would drive i'm very questionable insane, like and their editing was just way too fast paced like when i watched the video i actually got a headache is their retention really that good garbage i don't know how much stimulation these viewers need holy shit the whole term brain rot became a meme and there was a lot of ig reels about lanky box being brain rot some people say they Lo used to make good like videos, honestly do you guys really this, blame them yeah, like loki also sorry the webcam was being a little bit um, blurry Jack, Dorty, and neon some of the biggest clowns in my opinion they're both doing the same type of shit like they're going out in public and just being a complete nuisance like, there's multiple clips of Jack Doherty pressing people with his bodyguard. And there are so many clips. Yeah, low-key, when I say these two definitely, like, influenced a whole bunch of generations. Like, because of these two, and, like, I would probably say, like, a few others, this is, this is the reason why a lot of kids are, like, literally trying to be streamers or, and literally doing, like, dumb shit just to get, like, you know, views and all that. And some of them get beat up and some of them don't. Like, have you guys seen, like, No Kizzy Cap? Put your hand in my food again, and I'm throwing all of your phones. Hey, you're not touching our phones. Don't put your don't put your hand in my food again. Do not do that. You don't do that to people. Who do you think you are? Who do you think? You touch my phone. I'm gonna actually do something. Are you gonna pick me up? Don't do that again. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah. Shut the.
Like, he's, like, definitely one of them that probably... He's definitely, like, one of those, like, streamers that definitely got influenced by Jack Dory and Neon. And I'm just like, oh... Oh, I, what, what the fuck are we doing here? Like, Loki, what the fuck are we doing here? ...of Neon running away after trying to fuck with somebody. These two just keep getting in a cycle at this point because they're doing the most for clips. Like, yeah, they're, they're definitely falling off a little bit, but it's just like... Happen. At this point, I've been convinced that everything they're doing is fake. It has to be. There's no way. Like, you sometimes it's fake, Neon sometimes it's actually real. Like, sometimes guns. they actually get the... And there was like, not a single beat. hit delivered to his face is insane. Like, you can't tell me any of this shit is real at this He's definitely just trying to get on these Twitter pages. But Jack Doherty also has a ring of OnlyFans girls, and Neon is dating one of them. I don't think she's a part of it anymore, but still. All he does is he makes YouTube shorts with these girls and then promotes their OnlyFans in the comments. And a lot of the girls that he worked with claim that he took a huge cut of their revenue and he would have them sign contracts yeah. under the influence, <laughs> so they wouldn't even really think about it. And to me, it like, seems like it's just lifestyle. like style and at that time they probably didn't even care what like mostly they mostly do it because of the money and because he's like Jack very Dory popular but it's just the like most punchable face i've ever seen and now there's people going around <laughs> yeah this is what i was talking about loki this is what i was talking about the this shit is no kids he see to watch sp like and then a few other kids that keep doing this shit rivera now bren rivera was already pumping out cringe content as it is. And I mean, yeah, the content- Brevin Rivera cool, was someone doing what Jack Dory was someone doing. Like he met this YouTuber at the same hotel that he was doing a video at. And the YouTuber asked him if he faked his videos and then proceeded to call the cops on him and like ego this guy. And the reason what? why I said that to him, well, he was in the middle of Brent Rivera filming a fake YouTube prank. And then people made videos about this situation. And he was sending copyright strikes to people. Brent and Rivera again, cringe a lot. Oh, all right. going to put you in even more drama. Look, you and I have not watched Brent Rivera and in, like, and like years, honestly. So I was like, I know he was controversial, but I don't know why. But as well. Well. And while Dumpy had these strikes and these claims on this channel, Brent Rivera just sent him $400. It's a good thing that he did, but still, that just does not make the situation That, that, that the seems more like a like a petty move. Like, he only did it because, like, look, I'm sorry for the copyright. And then he likes Here's some money. a little bit too much. Seriously, what the f*** is this? Ooh, woo, cute single. What the fuck? I don't know if any of you know who this YouTuber is, but this is the shittiest f***ing name I've ever heard. Well, basically, this person was a Roblox YouTuber who already made shit videos to begin with i mean at least in my opinion they would drop videos where it was just Someone their roblox on. character and like a gray background and they would do emotes and that was it that was pretty much their content that and then like they looking deal, like it was a gambling it site. feels like a little bit a, a little bit like a sexual type of outfit to gamble and roblox so i i kind of see i think it was some kind of kind of kind of see why it's a little bit shit like no disrespect to any girls that like wearing that but like at all that's what it seemed like to most people at least that was the general consensus about the situation i really didn't look too deeply into it i'm not really tapped into the roblox Roblox community like that. I really don't Same. play the game at all. <laughs> I mainly play with other Sniper. YouTubers I know. Yeah, this one was really bad. And basically what Sniper Wolf would do already to begin with, she would just sit there and give very lackluster Loki. reactions to videos. Like, yeah, Sniper Wolf kind of steals content, Loki. Like, she never gives credit to anyone's, like, videos, video. whether so it's, like, a YouTube, YouTube video or a TikTok. Jax films called her out and also in the process made a channel where he would mimic Sniper Wolf. And no matter what people say about you, you never do this. She went to his house and filmed it on her Instagram story and said some shit like, let's settle this like adults. That is the last thing you are settling like an adult, bro. What the f- You like, went to this guy's house, filmed it, and now you're talking about settling shit like an adult. That is crazy. Do you think- Like, okay, if you're gonna go to another YouTuber's, like, house, you should- First of all, you should first of all, at least ask them. Like, I don't know, I don't know, like, email or any other way, like, you can contact them, whether it's, like, Discord or Instagram or any- Any other, like, social they have. Like, ask if you could come over for, like, I don't know, like, a collab or something, or, like, you know, you're staying near them because of something like i don't know like a vent or something so like you know you just want to like a place to stay because you don't want to get like a hotel or something but no she 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 randomly gets pissed because she she was rightfully getting called out filmed his house and now he was very scared because now like you know his house was very private and now he has to worry about like others coming because of sniper it it, it, it was really insane i was like oh God. 
I, I hope Jack. I hope Jack's safe, Loki. I, I I was hoping Jack Jack was safe. Jack's films is gonna look outside his home, see Sniper Wolf, and be like, you know what? She just wants to talk like adults. No, like what the? F he's gonna want to call the police because at the end of the day, Loki. he's just making videos on the internet. Like he didn't do anything wrong. Like it's not that deep. But she just made it personal. I don't know why the hell she would do this. If she just changed her content. Oh, no one heard the car honking the outside. Uh, I normal, love cars. No oh my one god. Would have even cared that much. But she put Jack. Loki, like it's just videos. videos. Like he he, he wasn't really like you know away. exposing anything like you know private. Sneeko. Now Sneeko admitted to something that top five biggest downfall. Loki. Now everyone Loki. says that. Sneeko like does anyone actually watch, watch Sneeko in twenty twenty four? I mean, so i mean at this point like, like loki loki made this... a video about him and then he got on a live stream waving around a gun Dude, and what the fuck? Critical, i'll pull up on you i'll come shoot you like bro who bros bro gritting while holding a gun to the next level and it was also that's like gritting while like subway like, surfing like, like, like it's my clips and then critical pulled out an ar and said these are mags not clips yeah, bro, after that, he was cooked. Because who does that? Who goes on stream and's like, oh, you're in Tampa, right? Pull up on me, dude. But after that, Critical pretty much just spent the next 15 minutes cooking him. And already at that point, Sneeko was banned on YouTube when he was on Rumble, but he also made a video. Uh, yeah, he was on Rumble and, and Kick, actually. I think he did he get banned from both. It all was a weird ass movie. And he had a lot more wild. Loki, did he, did like he that. get banned on both? Honestly, that's probably what got his YouTube. Or, or, I'm thinking banned. something but else. Yeah, not only did he say, I let my girlfriend sleep with another dude. He said everybody should do it. This dude was on some weird ass. Nigga, what? See, this is the really reason why I said he fall, he fell off. I definitely like he fell off since those. like but what 20, 2018? Nicholas Avocado. And now the reason why Oh he was so Nick Avocado. He was very uh gluttonous to say the least. He would cry, eat food, break. Definitely down. another like downfall. Cause you like Loki, does anyone also watch him? Loki. Constantly fake break like I know a lot of people actually Poland. watch in the back then, but it's like Content do people, was very funny. Do people even watch mukbangs right? like nowadays? He like low key. His health at serious risk. Because honestly, I never watched anyone do like do a muk mukbang because it's like nowadays he's finally starting to lose weight. Or, oh, okay, he's getting healthier. He goes on a weight loss journey every so often, and then he just gets back off it. This dude's just got to tee up. I don't know what he's doing. Next, week I mean, he's got to do Paul. Paul. Now, Logan Paul. We are. Oh yeah. Twenty twenty. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Logan Paul. Now, nowadays, I feel like Logan Paul is, like, less hated just due to the fact that, like, you know, he's he's doing a little bit, like, like, he's still doing a little bit shit stuff, but it's like, you know, he's not, he's, like, less of an asshole. He's more into, like, you know, his sponsors, Prime. He's also into, like, you know, WWE. So I feel like he's he's a little bit less hated. He's still, like, hated because, like, you know, he could sometimes still, like, be a piece of shit. Like, you know, look at, look, look at his crypto scam. But, like, back then, he, he was, like, really fucking hate it like low-key a forest and uh and started yep filming. japan and, yeah the, you know what happened after the, the, but then the japan drama made this thing called crypto zoo this one this one people out of millions of dollars i don't really know much about it but this YouTube like i'm not into crypto but it's like him. and he's well known for exposing scams i'm and just of like course, god crypto damn crypto zoo was a nft project which did not surprise anybody and six months ago he said he was doing a refund because people wouldn't stop suing him for the mass amounts of money that they were owed and to be honest with you compared to the amount that was lost on this app the refund really wasn't much of it so it's just not even to fix the situation at all but next we have that vegan teacher and i mean this one's just a given i mean would make videos it's the very common like could possibly think of like she would just make random videos loki it, loki she actually made a video where she said i think she said either which was like the n-word like nigga or she said like nigga with the er as this deranged Lunatic. I gotta research after this because I, I I don't remember what video was, but I remember saying she just rarely made a video she, about she that. Compared barbecue sauce on a rib to uh yeah i don't even want to get into it and of course the most hated youtuber talking? of all time eat that prison food <gasps> oh no edt44 four, four, talk about four, this, five, four, to this day and when <laughs> oh yeah the cupcake incident pdf file they just get referred oh, to yeah. as an EDP. like this dude pretty much just became the mascot for a pdf file but if you're somehow unfamiliar with what bro did he was under the impression that he was going to meet up with whenever someone talks about 
like Although online pedophiles. Sting he's operation. definitely like the mascot of it. Not gone to jail, seriously. Yeah, these were the most hated YouTubers. If you want to see a video about the different the types worst of types YouTubers, of YouTubers, click the video on the end screen. Okay, uh, guys, if you guys want me to react to that video, please show me in the comments because it's not gonna hold you when I say I would actually react to that if you guys want me to. So yes, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Loki, that was a good that was a good video. Loki, I I really enjoyed that. Like common word I banger is just like <laughs> oh my god, some of these are just mm, like he was barely like reaching the surface because I feel like there's still a lot more like hated YouTubers, Loki. Like Loki, like Loki, we got like you know Jake Paul, you know, we got him. You also got like Rice Gum. Like you, anyone remember <laughs> fucking Rice Gum? Or like most most vloggers from 2017. And it is just like, you know, like yeah, these are like the more like, you know. I would probably say more like I don't know famous or popular ones, but like you know people love to hate. But there's like, damn, this is just so many like hated YouTubers on this platform that uh, Loki he could make a part two and like talk about actually like you know what Jake Paul and like Rice Gum done because they're they're got no gold. You worried I should make that? Lo worried I should make this into a series? Because Loki, Loki, I feel like he could make like you know another video on this. Serious, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the bell and get notified when I upload a new video. Comment what do you guys want to react to next. Serious. That was the video. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hups.